I wish it's Stephanie. Okay. So, um, uh, happy one year. <laughs> Changing scripts channel. I'm laughing because I'm going, I live on the 13th floor and I am going to take the stairs down because I've been meaning to show you the stairs. There's some interesting script in the stairs that I hope we can see as we slowly meander down. So, let's see, for example, there's some stuff there. Meow! And very friendly neighbors. <laughs> and I also want to answer some questions I got on the request for questions video. So, Sapphire Lewis, Sapphire, you are a doll. I absolutely love watching your creative stuff flourish online and your comments to other people are just, I don't think you understand how energizing they are and how welcome they are. So thank you, Sapphire. Sapphire played her harp on a recent video on her channel. So check her out. Question one, do you want to stay in China long term? Um, she has two questions and of course you're allowed more than one question. Uh, do I want to say, I had, a, I've lived overseas uh, for the better part, not all, but the better part of the past 15 years. And at first I was kind of willy-nilly and just so excited to choose different places. And then I got very strategic. And when I got very strategic, and we, because at that point I was married and my husband and I made some plans. And uh, by the time we got very strategic, um, not by the time. We got very strategic. We spent a year or two planning the next move, did all the right things, and ended up in positions that were worse or equal to the ones that we had before we had more qualifications. And so things fell through a lot more, it seemed, the more that we planned for them. And uh, that happened uh, not exactly twice in a row, but kind of twice in a row. So at this point, uh, my answer to do you want to stay in China long term is, I don't know. I, I want to be safe and happy and have lots of free time. And if that ends up being here for a while, then cool, and especially in Shanghai. And if it doesn't, and something happens either here or back home or somewhere else, something else with somewhere else, then um, I'm not seeing the... The script I mentioned, sorry, I'm looking for it as I'm doing all this. Um, so if that happens to be here, cool. If another opportunity comes up or it becomes less advantageous to be here, then then we'll leave. I mean, we have gotten to the point where we're, we now have an emergency fund. Um, not because we're in China, but because I feel like we're finally old enough that we freaking need one. <laughs> um, my financial, financial diet is another YouTube channel I'm addicted to. So I'm super bad at finances and I find their short mini burst videos super helpful in uh, getting over that. Uh, what is her second question? Um, so I don't really know what's going to happen. I'm not opposed to staying here for a while, um, but I'm not, it's not really my goal. I don't have any set time to be here. I definitely want to be here. I would like to be here at least until I'm at the end of HSK3, which I'm hoping will be the end of this year, or more, oh, I gotta put you down, this is exhausting, or more so the, I wanna say, the beginning of next year is when I'll probably be more comfortable with HSK3. It's funny, I'm way more comfortable with HSK1 a few weeks after taking it than while taking it. So I don't wanna switch languages until I feel like I'm at a certain level. But uh, but again, it depends on what happens. There's a lot of stuff that happens, and yeah, too funny. The more I plan, the worse things got. Number two, and I'm not saying that's true for everybody, I'm saying that's what's happened to me. So I'm going to go back to uh, seizing opportunities as they come up, instead of pointing my pointing the ship in the direction that I think I want to go in, because that doesn't seem to have worked so well. Uh, question two. Do you have any regrets about moving to China? Oh, hell no, that one's easy. Oh, good, I get to put one of the phones away now. <laughs> this is hard to do as it's going down the stairs. Um, no, absolutely not. And we kind of knew what we were getting into. Uh, that sounds negative. We kind of knew what was going to happen when we, we kind of knew what we were moving to, there we go, when we moved here because we lived in Nanjing, China eight years ago. And um, depending on how you define China, I lived in Taiwan in 2003 and 2004. I have an entire podcast that's reading a blog I wrote then. Oh, that's just tragic. 
tragic, tragic podcast. Um, <laughs> um, and so there were, there were things we were familiar with, but tell you what, China's changing so fast right now that even just leaving for seven years, um, that we left Shanghai for seven years, oh, sorry, we lived in Nanjing for a year, eight years ago, and then we lived in Shanghai for six months after that, and then we went to grad school. So we kind of knew some stuff, but so much has changed, like the entire electronic uh, payment culture emerged just within the past two years. So we were completely new to all of that. So we spent a lot of the first two weeks catching up with all that. Oh, here we go. Here is some script right here. No idea what any of that is. Can you see this? I wanted to make an entire video of this, but then I got really tired going up and down the stairs trying to figure out <laughs> the best way to do it. So I figured I'd combine two videos, two videos, two videos in one. So no, no regrets in coming here at all. The pollution, everybody keeps saying it's gotten better. I feel like because Shanghai was one place where it hit later than other places, I feel like it's gotten worse. But, um, but it's still very, very manageable, I think, for now. For now. Again, anything could change. And there are things that are happening where they're trying to, to help make it even better than that. So, oh, here's a part I like. So here's the center of the building, right? It's not really different than these are windows. Any other apartment building. It's a pretty standard apartment building. Um, but I'm on the second floor already, so I don't want to go down and tumble with the video. <laughs> Okay, so do I regret moving here? Absolutely not. There's been a lot of good stuff to come from this move um, in a lot of different areas of my life. Funny that, there's a huge tech community building up in Shanghai. You don't hear about it so much right now. Like you hear about Chiang Mai being the digital nomad uh, hub, being a uh, digital nomad hub. You hear about Silicon Valley. You hear about, um, I'm gonna say it wrong, but Hyperpodad in India. You hear about that being a tech hub, hub, but you don't hear about Shanghai. But Shanghai's got a huge burgeoning tech community, a huge startup community. Um, and there is, and I love this, a huge language learning tech community. It could also be called EdTech, but it's so much more smaller than just EdTech, because EdTech's all of educational technology, and this is language learning technology. And there's a huge, huge um, community here of people working on stuff. So I can ever get, if I can ever get my butt off of my three passion projects and go over to the fourth one and start working on my mobile apps um, with Bubble, if you know Bubble, please. Give me, a, give me a thumbs up on that. Anyway, if I can ever get that. Did I ever tell you guys? We keep the bicycles and motorbikes inside the apartment complex. Anyway, if I can ever get that off the ground, I would have a lot of people to talk to about it and a lot, maybe even some funding sources. I don't know. I'm not entirely sure how it works. Okay, it gets really dark in the last, <laughs> the last, um, the last bit, so I'm going to take the elevator down from here. <laughs> I don't like that last, what's it called? The last floor. The last floor is the word I'm looking for. Language erosion is real, folks. Anyway, so there's that. So I absolutely no regrets at all. Even if we left tomorrow, there would be so many things that good that came from this experience. In addition to this channel and starting to learn Chinese in a way that I feel like I can finally learn the language, which did not happen the other times. I lived in places where Chinese was the language that was used. So I feel like it's been really, really good. So thank you, Sapphire, for your questions. If anybody else has questions, I'll make some more videos. I'm open to that. So, um, so again, thank you for sticking with me for however long you've been with the channel. If you have just recently discovered us, please feel free to dig in. I think videos are up there. Feel free to dig into the other videos. And, um, oh, I just missed my, here we go, the elevator. Hi. <laughs> so I'm going to stop this now because the guards will definitely look at me strange if I'm walking out talking to you. All right. Well, thank you so much and goodbye from an elevator. I seem to be making a lot of videos from small spaces lately. All right. Satchian.